Hello everyone and welcome back to this full game walkthrough of Pillows of Eternity 2 Deadfire. So in this episode, we're going to finish up the dig site and head back to Port Maje. Oh, we'll come back this way in a minute. Let's go up here first. There's a room with some mobs in it. Let's get our tank in there first. All right, let's get to casting. Mm, let's kill these little wisps. These are a pain. You get you on this guy. Jote can begin casting. That's great. I guess this is it. Come on, Jote. Let's get in there and cast us a healing spell. You can cast this spell. And we can cast this spell. Let's get that one going. That's a faster cast. We can get this one. That was easy enough. We're actually almost done with this place. That's the last big group we have to fight. I'm with you. <laughs> I see where you're going with Keep it down. Here's the last clue. Um, the Reckless, which is one of the clues for that area down here to open up the door uh, based on what this says. One of those is the Reckless. You can trust me. Let's get out of here. Let's go in here. But I'm not. Dim in the lantern. Okay, this is Odor. This is Odoressi right here. He is frozen in mid stride. And touch, clutched tightly is a bundle of papers. This one's ashen. Means he ain't got no soul for me to tend to, right? That's correct. We have Odoressi's notes now. Alright. Let's go through a cutscene. You place your hand against the pillar of Luminous Audra. A dim, warm light emanates from the surface. But it feels cool to the touch. Pinpricks dance along your fingers. Uncomfortable, but not painful. A woman's voice, scratchy, distant, and halting, echoes in your mind. Find your soul in him. You concentrate, 
Peering into the Audra's energy as you would peer into a soul. Its inner light is blinding, but as you become accustomed to it, you perceive the core of the Audra itself. A churning mass of millions of soul fragments. With a jolt, the energy reaches out to you. The Anguithin ruin fragments around you, breaking into incoherent shapes and dissolving to dust, falling into an infinite well of dark gray vapor. Even the ground itself disintegrates into nothingness. All that remains is the murky expanse of the in-between. The Audra Pillar, and a skein of golden threads rooted in the pillar that extend far off into the distance. You focus on the threads. You catch glimpses of memories, your memories, mingled among the memories of thousands of other captive souls. The filaments begin to cohere, rapidly twining into a golden cord. With a muffled crack, the cord ripples outward in a violent wave toward the endless distance. The cord undulates over a space so vast that you lose sight of the wave before it finds its end. Then, a heavy creaking, like the sound of mountains shearing under their own weight, washes through the dull gloom of the in-between. A violent force yanks you along the cord at an incredible speed. The murk of the in-between warps erratically, as though you are observing it through an ill-ground lens. Just as quickly as you were pulled forward, you stop, suspended below a massive figure of ancient carved Audra. Like all Audra, it glimmers with energy, but the souls and memories within it are not flowing down. They churn in a vortex that burns at the heart of the statue's mass in some invisible engine. It is Aethys. The great golden cord terminates in his back, sending pulses of energy throughout his limbs as they move. He walks in long, slow strides toward a brilliant pillar of Audra far in the distance. It shines even more brightly in the in-between than Aethys. From within the teeming throng of souls, dozens of eyes look out to you, through the cord, their collective anguish and despair push at the edge of your mind. Help us! Please! Help us! Their voices echo in your mind. Somewhere within their ranks, you can feel the presence of your own soul slumbering deeper in the gyre. Aethys, stop. Aethys' stride slows and stops. His head slowly pivots until its great burning eyes are cast back along the cord. As his gaze meets yours, you feel an overwhelming rush of incredible joy mingled with profound sadness. You have sensed similar anguish in lost souls, but never with this intensity. A soothing voice drifts into your mind. It takes great bravery to venture through the in-between. Even for a Watcher. A swell of admiration radiates out from the God's heart. A force so intense that it momentarily overwhelms you. You do not need to follow me, for their sake or your own. Something beautiful is coming. Something that will save us all. A great light shines from Aethys's brow. So bright that even the souls within him flinch from the source, cowering in fear. Through the glare, you see Aethys's massive arm reach up to grasp the golden cord. The tether carrying energy from the Audra Pillar to him that also suspends your consciousness. Wait. Time cannot stop for any of us, Watcher. Even me. Aethys yanks on the golden cord, pulling it from his back. The cord tears into filaments that blacken and dissolve to dust. Without pause, he turns to resume his stride toward the distant pillar of Audra, shining on the boundless horizon. You hear the souls within him cry out for just a moment, before your consciousness is snapped away from them. The in-between goes dark. For a second, you feel a mix of nausea and a sensation like spinning and falling. Then the moment ends. Your consciousness has returned, to the Anguithin Arena. The 
The world is sideways, the Audra pillar upside down. You flinch at the feeling that you're standing on the ceiling. The disorientation overwhelms you and you collapse to your knees next to the luminous Audra pillar. Previously dim and flickering, the pillar now glows with a strong and steady light. You touch the Audra again, but the chill and prickling sensations you felt before are gone, replaced with a comforting warmth, like the embers of a fire that has just lost its flame. Okay, so we have talked with Aethys very briefly, and now we have the notes which we were pro uh, we promised to get for Governor Clario. And now we have updates to our quests. We need to locate more pillars of uh, Luminous Adra. You all right? Come on, we just got you back. Not even a little. Well, if you're not sure, now I'm worried. All right. So what happened? Uh, let's see. Uh, I think we're just do. I saw Aeoth. No, let's do. Thousands of suffering souls were trapped within Aeothis. I was powerless to help them. I don't believe the God of Rebirth wishes souls to suffer. If he's harvesting them, he's got a plan. What did Gon say? Is he gonna meet us? What do we do next? He charged you with a divine calling, didn't he? Just like he's done for me. He's after Luminous Adra, and we're gonna stop him before he gets there. How hard can it be to find in a chain of thousands of islands? I wonder what he's after, and why he's been giving me these dreams. The things I've seen, they leave a mark on your soul. I may not know what Gon's got planned for me, but clearly he wanted me to meet you. All right. We must do what we can do. You need my help? That's everything in here. We do have one more spot to go to. Let's go down here. I don't think there's anything down there other than some bodies. So, uh, oh, there are stuff in here. Why am I first again? Uh, let's get him in there. Might want to cover your eyes. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, attack this guy. Definitely need to attack this Drake. Let's actually get on this Drake. Let's get us a Drake ourselves. See, these guys are actually immune to fire, so we'll just take this guy down, I think. Yeah, he's got... Alright, where's Jyote at? Why is she right there? Yeah, we're gonna need a heal from her. And for some reason, I have aggro now. Let's switch targets. I just need to pop my defensive spells and hope for the best. Let's go. We could try to knock him back, but I don't think it's gonna work. I think I'm just going to need to summon a different kind of pet to help me with this guy. Hopefully this will work. There we go. 
I think it's everything in here. Let's get out of this place. As the souls move past you, some turn their heads in your direction, but most seem fixated below you on the outer pillow beneath your feet. What do you see that I can't, Watcher? Souls, dozens of them, maybe hundreds. They're all going to the outer pillar. All of them? Really? So a small group of souls start to cluster around you. Watcher, we'd like to come with you. Yeah, of course, I'll protect you. You have our thanks. We appreciate that you showed us the way to the Audra. But what if it goes dark before we reach the beyond? Can I harvest the souls now? Yes, of course. Thank you for aiding my mission, Watcher. I just knew you'd help me if I followed you. Thank you, Watcher. All right, sure thing. that's going to be it um, with this area. There's a few things we can go check out, uh, like this ancient training hall, which has a lot of traps in it, and this down here, which is just a simple area that we can uh, kill a few mobs in. All right, let's head up here to this ancient hall. There's two doors in here, actually. There's um, one up higher and one below. And there's also a spot up here we can go to. Definitely want to be careful because of the traps in here. Real quiet now. Yeah, no problem. Let's get in here and she can find all the traps for us. Okay, I think it's just one more. Let's get on this guy. I need something stronger. Just evening the odds. All right, let's uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and get us some dragons. These guys are, uh, yeah, immune to lightning. Or no, piercing immune. Some more guy up here. Let's just pull him back. Sure. But oh, what you can do as well is you can actually set some traps. We can get a trap going, and then we can uh, have him run through that trap. Here we go. This guy here. Alright, what is this guy? This is a archer and a sorcerer. It's definitely with the sorcerers first. That's always um, should be a goal. Let's do that. Let's get you up with sorcerer as well. 
And then we'll get us uh, some uh, summons. Let's see, he is, okay, immune to... Okay, they're all immune to piercing. Which means she will be very effective. Let's get her out of there. Oof. Let's get you up here on this guy. Oof, that's pretty bad. Uh, it'll be fine though. It's definitely way we get those guys down first. Uh huh. You mean like this? Yeah. Hey, we got some uh, stuff though. We got another tomb. Uh, tombs are great because we can use that on our main character. Lightning attack, yes. So, the benefit of having a tomb, I can equip it to my quick items. And now, I can switch between this one and this one, which means that I get access to all these different uh, spells, even though I haven't learned them yet, which makes um, a mage pretty nice. We should have some stuff too, I can probably put this on. Yeah. Alright. Get our hunter up in front. Huh. Look at this. Okay. I think there's like only one or two people up here. All right. Next time, challenge me. Let's get everybody else on this guy. You need my help. This thing isn't doing the job. See, now I can get my uh, book out, and let's say we'll go to this book. Here we go. Now I have this book here. I can just cast spells from it, and then switch back if I needed to. Let's just do that. Okay, Jota, I need you to cast a spell. No, 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 don't go there. Alright, that should be cleared. Let's get everybody. Let's go and uh, exit this place. Did I actually loot that guy yet? No, I didn't. I'll handle it for you. There's a cat around here. Um, like over here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. I'll do what I can. Deserted cat. Uh, Gosha gives you, I think, just yeah, perception, and it also gives you a uh, weapons are less likely to crit against your party. Okay. Let's go in here. This is pretty easy. This area right here. That's really short. So I'm in the... Attacked already.
Alright, um, this is, I think, it for this area. These Andra crystals are nice. You can, uh, level up some stuff with that. Some of your equipment can be leveled up. And we also have this right here. Let's go there. Beatles. Okay. Well, let's kill this guy. Let's get you in here. No, not you. <laughs> Wrong guy. Get him in here. Get this bear over here. Summon. You can on that. Can attack that guy. Well, let's kill that guy first. This is pretty simple. Let's get him on auto attack at least. Yep, there we go. There's a few things in here that are worth noting. from the foreman. All right, but I'm keeping what's in there. I guess I wasn't so hard. Alright, that's it. I think we are completely done with this place now, so let's go and head back to Port Mage. We talked to the Governor Claria there, and we can get our ship fixed. Yeah, let's uh Go here. Thing. Yeah, I'll just go straight to the port city. Let's go to Governor Clario. What can I do for you? I have information for you about the dig site. At last, Belfetto, tell me, please, what has happened? How much have we lost? I must... I must know. I saw the same destruction Aeothus wreaked on Cadnua. Odoressi is dead, along with most of your animancers. I... I see. And the work? Odoressi's notes? Was there nothing of his research? I found these. You did? Gods be kind. Belfetto, Belfetto, we are saved. That is, Odorisi's legacy is not wholly lost. I like to believe the man would find that pleasing. You say this is all the work of the Titan, of uh, Aeothis, and you still insist on looking for him? He destroyed your ship, killed my people. 
Would it not make more sense to sail to the far side of the world and away from all this? I don't have a choice. It is a strange obligation you are under. I understand a little of that. Lucky for you. If I were a more sensible man, I would take this for fable and turn you away. Aethys is using the object pillars as an energy source. If I can find more, I can find him. Merla. He will ravage every outpost in the dead fire. That Adra is why we are here. Why everyone is here in truth. The Valian Trading Company. The Royal Deadfire Company. Countless mercenaries. You'll want to go to Nekataka. Queen Onekaza II rules there at the Kahanga Palace. Anyone seeking to do business in the Deadfire Archipelago must negotiate with her first. The Queen knows every other vein of worth in the Deadfire. I'm certain she can help you. That is, if she agrees to see you at all. And that's where I'm going next. And for that, you need your sheep. I'll arrange it with Ekawa. Between the two of us, I'm certain we can gather the workers we need. Head down to the beach once you are ready to depart. Thank you for your help. Bompiaco. It is only right. After all you have done for me. I won't keep you further. You have a long and very strange journey ahead. Some advice. After you have had your audience with the Queen, seek out the Valian Trading Company. They make their headquarters in Nekataka, and the company always appreciates a good head. All right, so we need some level up. Uh, our characters we made leveled up, so we can definitely get them leveled up now. Which I will do that now, and then I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, let's uh, move on. I do want to switch out uh, healers. But I'll actually do that at the boat. That'll be better. So let's get out of this place. Just go here. Exit. Leave by foot and head back to the boat. Good, you are here. Clario has made good on his promise. We are making ready to free your ship. I say still that you are fortunate. The ship was nearly lost, but it will float. For how long, I cannot say. You will wish to find a friendly port with some speed, I think. Do you know where Nekataka is? So you will go to the great Kahanga city as well. You must sail north for some time. And then a little east. Take care, Nekitaka outsider. It will close its jaws around you, and you will never notice. Come, we will see your defiant out to sea. We should address the matter of our ship's resources before we get underway. It saddens me to inform you that we lost several crew and most of our provisions during the storm. However, Port Marge appears to be well supplied, and I expect the recent disaster has left several sailors in want of a ship. I suggest we contract for additional supplies and crew before we return to open water, or our voyage may indeed be a short one. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up this episode now because we're gonna have two back-to-back, -back, well, semi-back-to-back, cutscenes and that's going to take a lot of time up so we'll stop it now and then we will pick up on our way to Nekataka in the next episode. I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.